In this week's drone news update, we'll talk about a drone pilot getting fined for flying without a trust certificate. That's a big deal. A DJI Mini 3 is getting released today, and an autonomous aviation company working with the FAA and large drones to battle wildfires. Your first story this week is a man from Ohio. That's right, not a Florida man for once, but uh, a man in Ohio is facing charges related to flying a drone without a trust certificate. This is pretty big, and this is actually the first that we've heard of, except that the drone pilot wasn't really doing anything else wrong. Uh, the operator was hovering over a stadium in Columbus approximately 10 hours before the game. Uh, the stadium is in class golf airspace, which is uncontrolled, and there was no active temporary flight restriction since the uh, TFRs, the stadium TFRs, don't go up until usually one hour before the event. The Columbus Police Counterterrorism Unit saw the drone flying over the stadium, uh, tracked it down to to where the pilot was. Uh, the pilot stated that he did not have a Part 107 certificate or a trust certificate completed. Uh, the Franklin County Municipal Court charged the man with two counts of operating an aircraft without a valid license. We'll keep you updated of where the story goes, but please keep in mind that uh, the trust certificate is free. It's free. You can do it on trust.pilotinstitute.com and it is required uh, to fly a drone recreationally. Now, I do want to add to this story, the fact that uh, this is not an FAA violation, this is a local violation. My guess, and we couldn't find it, but my guess is that this community, this uh, specific city has rules in the books that don't allow to fly a drone without having a proper certification, which in this case, the trust certificate, even though it's not an actual FAA certificate, uh, would count because it goes against the FAA regulation. So that's all I'm going to say about this. And your second story this week is a follow-up from last week with the DJI Mini 3 being released, not the Mini 3 Pro. The Mini 3 is a cheaper version of the already released Mini 3 Pro. Uh, the drone has the exact same sensor, but some reduced capabilities, such as no obstacle avoidance sensors. It doesn't have the 48 megapixel option. You can do 4K at 30 frames per second instead of 60 on the Mavic 3 Pro. Uh, there's no master shots, and then there's OQSync 2.0 instead of 3.0 on, on the Pro version. Uh, however, the cost is definitely reduced and the flight time has actually been increased. The max flight time is now 52 minutes, which is absolutely incredible. The cost has also been reduced to $639 for the DJI with the RC controller, which is actually $300 cheaper than the Mini 3 Pro with the DJI RC. Uh, the Flight More Plus combo will top out at $798. Uh, that's kind of uh, a heck of a deal. Uh, we expect to get our hands on one pretty soon, so we'll keep you posted on all the results. Your third story this week is an autonomous aviation company named X-Wing, which is partnering with NASA and the FAA to use large drones, very large drones, uh, and general aviation aircraft in order to extinguish wildfires. Uh, the company aims to use large drones similar to the military UAVs uh, to study how information is collected and how large UAS can be integrated into disaster relief situations. For the study, X-Wing will be using an autonomous Cessna caravan with a safety pilot on board. and. If we see any results from this study in the next year or so, we'll sh be sure to let you know. And then lastly, we have two, actually three, but new free deep dives available on our website. The Autel Light Plus and the Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom deep dives have been published and ready to go. Uh, if you are an aviation or uh, an airplane pilot, we also have a Sporties Electronic E6B uh, free deep dive that we just released on the website as well. So make sure you head out to uh, pilotinstitute.com and uh, you'll be able to enroll in the course for free. That's it. That's all we have for you this week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.